Hey guys, Patton here again. Um, real quick, I wanted to touch on something that I didn't in my last video regarding RetroArch. <clears throat> if you want to load a Super Nintendo game um, without it defaulting to the Super Nintendo emulator, which has been like codenamed Canoe for some reason, and you want to load directly from RetroArch, uh, let me show you real quick how to do that because there are some problem games such as Illusion of Gaia. Let's start up Illusion of Gaia and see what happens. This was probably one of the main problem games. So look, we got the border around, so you know this is running from the stock uh, canoe emulator. Okay, everything seems to be working fine. Okay, we got Illusion of Gaia. Push start button. Okay, and it uh, looks like looks like that's as far as we're getting with that. So yeah, like I said, this is a problem game, and there's going to be a few of them like that. RetroArch will play this game. So let me show you real quick how to make it so Hackchi will default to the SNES 9X emulator instead of the um, Canoe emulator. Okay, here we are back at our Hackchi G.20. So to run the game so they default to the RetroArch core, uh, first you have to make sure that um, your SNES 9X 2010 module is installed. You click the button, you click OK, yada, yada, yada. You check it. You make the red check and OK. We've already done that, so we're not, we're not going to do that right now. So we're going to highlight the game that we're having a problem with, Illusion of Gaia. Here's our box art. I just now installed that. Um, so you know that when we boot up the classic again, this is going to be the new one. On the command line, you go to the very end. So you highlight all to the very end. It's going to look like this. So it doesn't go past the 600 or I don't know if the number is supposed to be different anyway. So when you get to the end, you hit one space, dash, dash, retro arc. That's all you have to do. And this is going to make it default to the RetroArch emulator SNES uh, 9X 2010. Let's synchronize it so it gets on to our SNES Classic. Remember, on that last step, don't forget that step. So now we're at the 33 games. Wow, 33 games, we're using this much space out of this much. Not really sure how these numbers work yet, but you know. I'm sure in time, Cluster is going to explain why we have this much space and look at all this compression that we're doing. Fun stuff. Fun stuff. Okay, we are all done. I'll see you guys back at the uh, class. Alright guys, here we are back at our SNES Classic. You can see we have Illusion of Guy here with the box art. So this is a new one that we just um, added after changing the command line. Let's see how this starts up. Alright, you can already see we have no borders. Nothing fancy, so we know we're not running on the um, SNES Classic canoe emulator. If you want further proof, if I hit select and start, here's our RetroArch menu. So let's try and get in here and see uh, see if this will work. Alright, so here we go. Let's uh, hit start and see if we can start a journey or A. Is that Daryl? Is that his name? I don't know. I've never, never paid attention to that. I've only played this a couple times. Alright, we're in school. My name is Will, years passed. Went to tower with his dad, but then there was disaster and he made it back. And that's the game. No, not really, but you know. So there, it looks like everything's kind of working. Um, and let's get back out to the menu. Yeah, so we're all good. So yeah, I hope this clears up um, how to play those games that the uh, stock emulator wouldn't let you play, such as Little Juna Guy. And there's a couple other ones I can't think of offhand. But anyway, I hope this was helpful to you guys. Um, go ahead and get started. Play some Illusion of Gaia. It's actually a pretty good game. See you next time.